All hail and beard, it's your boy Big Beard B, and we back for another edition of Big Beard Business. If you're anything like me, you've been rocking fragrances for a while, then you know that wearing the right fragrance in the right situation at the right time can garner you a ton of compliments. And honestly, there's nothing like a great unsolicited compliment from someone you do not know. That's why I'm here today to provide you a little bit of help and give you five tricks to make your fragrances smell better and last longer to help you get those compliments. And you can come back and thank me later. So one of the first tips and tricks out there, actually I had to tell someone this the other day and I think it's super important, so I wanna bring it up right now. One of the key things to make sure that your fragrances smell better and last longer comes down to the application. Yes, all about how you apply it. One of the main culprits out there, one of the things I see people do extremely wrong is they spray their fragrance and then they rub it in. Do not rub it in, don't pat it, don't do any of that, just sit there and let it do its thing. Allowing your fragrance to just sit there on the skin opposed to rubbing it in, um, you're gonna really allow your fragrance to project a bit more and allow the fragrance to be received as intended. Uh, rubbing the fragrance in can cause friction, can cause it to heat up a little bit and not allow it to last as long as the fragrance could last. What I would tell you to do is to sit there and let it chill. Another key thing when it comes down to making sure your fragrances not only smell good, but last longer is to use the appropriate amount of sprays, all right? Now they say that fragrances should be uh, discovered and not announced, but I believe you should also keep in mind the fragrance concentration. Wearing specific fragrance concentrations can do a number of things, which I have a lot of videos on, so I won't go in depth on that today. But I will tell you is to really pick the correct amount amount of sprays. On average, depending on the type of fragrance you're wearing, I'm going to tell you to go three to seven sprays. Yes, seven sprays. It's not just housed here at the top of your body, but we're talking about the entire length of your body. Three to seven sprays are going to be, generally speaking, in most cases, good enough. Now, there are some fragrances out there where you can up it and some that require you to go a little bit under, but if you want to make sure your fragrances are discovered in the way that they're intended to do, three to seven sprays are going to be be good to go all in all. Now some of you work in the confined spaces and offices and I get it that you may not want to go to that higher tier scale of that where you may look at you know three to four is going to be all you'll go but in today's world we're wearing these masks and um, you need your fragrances to jump off the skin a little bit more uh, that seven spray may be a way for you to go. Now listen that's just my take on this thing and I started out this thing called weekly fragrance rotations and it'll walk you through how many sprays etc uh, just go ahead and check it out there's over a hundred of them that you can view and understand how these fragrances work with real world scenarios so three to seven sprays on your sprays now we got two tips done three to go Another thing that we want to make sure we're doing before applying fragrances is to make sure the body is moisturized now if you think of fragrances in itself it's a hygiene routine it's not just like it's not like a hygiene piece, but it adds to the overall look and feel of that wearer, right? And you wanna make sure that you're, again, the fragrances are being received as intended. Now, if you spray a fragrance on dry, brittle skin, then, well, it, your skin just absorbs that. Now, if you spray a fragrance on dry, brittle skin, well, your skin just absorbs that. The key is to ensure that your fragrance uh, is able to properly work with your skin. And one of the key things that I wanna tell you to do is not only to ensure your skin is properly moisturized, but also be sure to use an unscented lotion, all right? Again, you want this fragrance to be discovered as intended. And if you're rocking a cherry uh, fragrance and you're rocking a uh, a lime lotion, it's not gonna go right, okay? Allow these fragrances to be discovered as intended as what you paid for. So I'm gonna tell you the best thing to do is to go with unscented lotion. Now what brand of unscented lotion to use, that's completely up to you. I personally uh, go with Aveeno and there are others out there that you can do, but uh, Aveeno has been good for me over the years. Be sure to properly moisturize your skin before applying your fragrances. Another thing to keep in mind when rocking fragrances, if you want them to smell better and last longer, 
It's something that I feel is controversial, at least controversial to me. But the general consensus out there is to spray fragrances on your pulse points, all right? And some of your pulse points could include on your wrist, behind your ears, on your neck. Um, generally speaking, that's where you want to spray the fragrances, in places where the body is going to heat these fragrances up and help them project a little bit more. Now, what I will tell you to maximize this, some of the things I'll tell you to do is to spray your fragrances to places on your body that have a greater surface area because, well, allows the fragrance to go a little bit longer. So let's say applying it to my forearms, to my biceps or triceps will allow me to have a greater surface area when spraying and not missing, okay? Listen, sometimes you spray and you miss. If you hit these greater surface area, you're gonna have more fragrance on your body at one time, therefore, you're going to smell better longer. Another thing I'll tell you is to make sure you're really looking at all sides of things here. Now, as I stated, the general consensus is to spray on your pulse points, but there has been research out there done by other companies in other parts of the world that'll tell you to spray the fragrances in parts of the body that do not heat up as much as it'll allow the fragrance to last a bit longer, right? The heat begins to cause it to dissolve a bit and it jumps off the skin, but it may not last as long now you know if we're talking about hour or two difference does it really matter not really so be sure to spray in places that make you comfortable but all in all be sure to be mindful of where you are spraying and the final tip or trick I'm going to tell you to do to make sure your fragrance lasts longer and smell better is to reapply throughout the day. Anytime that you can take these fragrances along with you to reapply, to smell better a little bit longer, you're going to be in a good situation. Let's take this one here. This is a travel atomizer from the company Pete and Pedro, and that's sponsoring this video. It's just what I had nearby. All right, you just take this little thing, you, you decant your fragrance, and then you're able to take this thing along with you throughout the day. There are a number of companies out there that offer purchasing fragrances like this, and you'll be good to go in that aspect, or you can purchase just a little travel atomizer, decant the fragrance on your own, and take your special fragrance, your most loved fragrances, along with you, and you can reapply throughout the day if you are not getting the results that you have expected. So those are my five tips and tricks to smell better and make sure your fragrances last just that much longer. As always, I'm your boy, Big B B to make the like, comment, and subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend that we are back again. If you're new to this fragrance game, I got a ton of videos for you. <laughs> Just comment down below and let me know what you're looking for. But before you go to the next video, I need you to do one damn thing, which is hit the goddamn.